Hey everyone, so for today we're going to be doing some bamboo cutting using the katana. So previously all of my bamboo cutting has been done with a wakizashi and there's a good reason for that, actually uh, a couple of good reasons. The main one is that my technique using the wakizashi is a bit better than my katana technique. And even though I can produce more power with the katana, then technically my wakizashi technique is still slightly better and I need some improvement on my technique and a little bit more practice. But there's a few other reasons and another big one is that they're made out of different materials. So my wakizashi are made out of T10 steel, whereas my katana here is made out of 1060 steel. So T10 steel is a much higher carbon content. It's about 1 to 1.05% carbon, whereas 1060 is 0.6% carbon. So it, the T10 is a lot harder, holds an edge better, and also it's clay tempered for my wakizashi, whereas this one is through tempered. So that means that they've got a harder edge, but they have a softer spine, so they can absorb some shock in the direction of the edge, whereas this being through tempered doesn't have that advantage. Now, some other things is that this particular katana has taken a bend before and I've straightened it out, so maybe there's some structural damage. It is heat treated and it came back to true, so it should be okay, but I really hope nothing bad happens to my sword. But that's also why I'm using this katana and not my Gyolongum here because this katana was rather cheap. It was about 140 AUD, which is probably about 100 US dollars. Whereas my Gyolongum was 4,500 AUD. So I'm going to do all of the rough hard testing on bamboo with this one until I get good enough, till I'm confident that my skills won't ruin the sword. The other thing is that my rising cuts using the wakizashi couldn't really cut through the bamboo and double-handed rising cuts using a wakizashi often struggle to gain power. The reason why is because the wakizashi is quite short and so it doesn't have very much tip velocity and also that using it one-handed you've got a lot more body mobility compared to using it two-handed with the shorter blade. So hopefully we'll be able to cut through some bamboo using rising cuts using the katana simply because of its longer length and therefore faster tip velocity. So with that, let's get to cutting some bamboo. That one was starting to go yellow and you can see it splits rather than cuts and that was really difficult to cut so hopefully the ones that are still green should be okay.
Alright, so that was really difficult. I'm out of breath and I'm sweating all over. And as you saw, then some of them were pretty good cuts and we did manage to get a few rising cuts in there that did work. But that bamboo was really dry. It's been a little over a week since harvesting and some of them have already started to go yellow and it was really difficult to cut. Um, so difficult in fact that it blew out the bottom of my cutting stand which is a solid two and a half centimeters of concrete. So that's an inch of concrete. Um, so you can see the forces that these things are taking and if my edge alignment was off even slightly it just didn't cut through. And even with good edge alignment then sometimes if I didn't throw my whole body weight into it it still wouldn't cut. Whereas with the fresh bamboo, if my edge alignment was good and my form was good, it would cut through. With this, even if the edge alignment and the form wasn't good, the power really needed to be there. So it's a really good test in one way, but also my sword got blunt really quickly, so it will need to resharpen. And I just don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to cut fresh bamboo. So I've got a few sticks outside, but I think I'll just end up throwing them away because it's just, it's just not a good exercise anymore. It's just too strenuous too much damage to my sword and to my stand so I guess I'll cut pool noodles until I have an opportunity to harvest some more bamboo so if you're going to cut bamboo please do use fresh bamboo don't don't let it sit around for a week and you know fresh bamboo is a good exercise because if you have good form good edge alignment it will cut dry bamboo not so much so it's the power that's needed as well and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time